And what we're going to do is show the multiple elements at one time here. So we're going to go element to depth. And I'm going to select the top surface that I want to get the elevation for. Uh, I'm going to just do one. Set the depth half a meter. And I'm going to pick um, boundary elements. In the past, we have the ability to fence, but now we can pick um, the elements out there physically from in CAD. So we're going to show the flexibility of the elements that we have. We have, just have a closed shape. I'm going to pick another element. In this case, it happens to be a terrain. Reset to complete. Give it a feature definition, data point to accept to create those meshes. You can see that we created those quickly, easily. And now we're going to do something a little different. We're going to say, well, what if you have a lot of these? Why not have the ability to do a selection set? So I have three in here, create closed mesh, element to depth. And it's going to... Um, uh, you pick the top surface, and if you have mul multiple top surfaces, you know, if it's a multiple existing terrains, you could, but in this case, we just, ha just have one. Reset, depth, and it's going to understand that there is a selection set. So, data point to select the um, selection set, feature def, and accept. As you can see, the it is completed. You can see that the uh, closed meshes are created. Okay, in this situation, we have a um, civil cell T intersection coming in with a uh, train model and a surface template. Um, coming into there, we would like it to be um, have overlay and match into existing. So how do you do it? Well, the create closed mesh could actually do that. You could go into the modeling detail, create closed mesh, and we're going to go element to element. And since cross sections are much easier to work in in comparison to the 3D model, it will accept the cross section. So in this case, we'll just pick the mesh we like um, in the cross section. It realizes um, it's a closed mesh too. So when we reset to complete, it's going to say what side do you want it to use. So in this case, we want to use the lowest side since obviously we have material already above it. And then it's going to ask us for the existing ground. In this case, that's our lower element, the bottom surface. And it's open, so it's not going to ask us what side. And then it's going to say, um, do you want to do this over a boundary? In this case, I do. I have this blue shape. Uh, basically, anywhere where this element is, but I don't want to go further than this blue line crossing here. I, don't, I want it to be full depth reconstruction and not use maybe an overlay component. So I can limit it in any way I like. So I'm going to pick that shape. And I'm going to reset to incomplete. And just give it a feature definition, data point to accept. So you can see it builds it. If you can see it right here, now I have nicely fit in uh, on that bottom of the surface template um, the material that I require to build this intersection.